Reading a list of Debbie Travis's accomplishments would make anyone tired. TV show host, book author, public speaker, paint and color specialist, as well as the creator of an empire. Plus, she's a wife and mother of two. Ever wonder how she did it all? Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with the decorating guru about her new book, Not Guilty. Your book is about how you coped with being a mother and having a career and being a businesswoman. What is the significance of the title, Not Guilty? Not Guilty is really, um, you know, my view on you know, parents, and I don't think men have that kind of knot in their stomach, whereas all mums have this kind of guilty feeling of, of I'm not getting it right or I didn't make the cookies right. I'd written to everybody I knew, women, uh, come up with a title. And everybody was coming up with, you know, super mom does this and all that kind of stuff. And a woman came up to me on the beach from Idaho and she said, I have uh, two teenage daughters. And she said, up until a couple of years ago, they were like these beautiful little angels. And suddenly they turned into tyrants. I can't do anything right. They loathe me. And she said, when I left my house yesterday, the screaming and the tantrums, because I was taking three days for myself. And she said, you know what? I am not guilty. I'm going to enjoy this holiday. And I was like, <gasps> it's my title. <laughs> That's it, not guilty. So it's really how I feel. How did you go from being, you know, a home decor guru uh, to writing a book about parenting? I have absolutely no right to do this book. I'm not a psych, you know, a child psychologist. I'm not a marriage counselor, but I'm a survivor, and I've I've done what every mum's done out there. I, I've struggled. I've I've tried to bring up a, a normal family, if there is one, um, and I've tried to work all the way through it. How did this book come to be? I, I read something about mentoring. I've done a lot of public speaking and up until about eight years ago, I was always talking about trends and the latest color and you know, it's a bit boring. And then um, I, I was asked for the first time to talk to a group of women in Winnipeg and there was about 800 women there all having breakfast and I was like, what do I talk about? So the woman said in charge said, just talk about your life. So I did and a woman in the audience stood up and she said, I have uh, two small franchises, coffee shops and four children and I would like to know how you get up in the morning. How do you get through your day? And then she burst into tears. But then the whole room burst into tears and I'm like, something's going on here. And then about last January, I was asked to mentor three women of different ages going back into the workforce. And it became for the, it was for the National Post and it became quite a big story. And I started getting emails of women with amazing jobs, women working in factories, mums at home, like t saying, we don't know how to do it. And today it's the bonding with other, other women that we seem to be cutting out of our lives. Where you don't, not when you've always got the kids around, where you can go for a glass of wine and say, you know, I don't think I can do this. Oh, don't worry, you'll do it. Or, you know, I feel exactly the same way. Thank you very much. Thank you.